Hello guys, and welcome back to in the last part of the video. Uh, today we are going to be finally adding the function to actually destroy the block and for it to actually drop things. So we're going to be working on um, just the drop properties. So as you can see here, the final stage has the, um, the actual crop itself. So this can be changed uh, depending on if you want uh, something more like carrots or something like that. You can just replace this with something that will be able to plant it rather than um, being the fruit itself. But uh, for this tutorial, we're doing something very similar to wheat. So this is why it's set up that way. Um, now for the next procedure that we need to do, we need two procedures. They're very simple. Don't worry about it. Um, we need to create a procedure for breaking the block when the block is breaking broken by a player. So we'll start with that one um, Procedure crop block um, Player Okay, we'll do something like that and what we need to do is import the procedure for the player and this is all the code that there is. It's very short. It's not too big. Okay, let's uh, break it down. So we're already using MBT data, so we can just use this randomizer again. And uh, we've used it in the previous videos to randomize a few other things. Uh, basically what it's doing is it's setting a variable and it's equaling it to a random number and it synchronizes it. Whoops synchronizes it across all the other variables. So all these will be the same. Okay, so now we know that. Um, the next uh, part of it is the if statement. It's testing if the player is not in creative mode. So anything that is uh, survival, um, venture, or spectator will be applied to this, even though spectator isn't something that you can actually uh, obtain items or anything in. Um, and then what's happening is it's testing for a number um, less than or equal to 0 0.5. And then if that's not true, then it's testing for a number greater than 0 0.5. So if we just minimize these two things, so you can see that this is the two things that it's testing for. And if it's less than or equal to, then it's going to run this procedure. So we want to set this to our seeds. And then we also have the same, th same idea, but if it's less than or equal to 7 0 0.75 or 75 or if it's greater than 0 0.75 and this is just determining what how many seeds to drop uh, depending on uh, the random number so you know how seeds can drop anywhere from I think like 1 to 4 in Minecraft this is basically doing the exact same thing it's just taking that random number above and it's going, okay, well, is it greater than uh, or less than 0 0.5? And if it's less than, then it's going to only do one seed. If it's greater than 0 0.5, it's going to do it for, is it equal or less than 0 0.75 or greater than? And then it's going to run e either of these procedures. So now we got that created, we can just create that. Uh, we need to create another procedure now. Pro crops block block. Um, I, think, I think I said break last time. No, block break. Um, Explosion. And then what we want to do is import the explosion one 
very similar. I think it's almost, yeah, it looks like the exact same thing. So we already went over how everything works. It's just testing for 0 0.5 or greater than, and then it's basically spawning the same amount of seeds. Um, so you just need to configure your seeds the same way. I'll make sure that it's compatible with uh, other mods um, after the tutorial and I'll bundle it with the zip that uh, you can get on my website. Okay, so the once that's done, uh, it's using blast break, so this is its own procedure. And uh, that's pretty much the only thing different about this uh, particular um, procedure is it's using a different variable. And once you got that all set up, um, you can go to your first stage, go to procedures, and then under destroyed by player, you want to select the broken player one, and for explosion, you want to set explosion. And then you go next, next, and then you want to do that for every um, every stage. So again, player, and then explosion, and player, explosion, player, and explosion. So now that's all set up. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is make sure you test it. Um, I think we covered this prior, but if the growth is too fast or too slow for your mod, you can adjust the tick rate. And this will, depending on how you configure it, higher numbers will slow it down, lower numbers will speed it up. And yeah, you don't need to run it through a procedure or anything like that to actually control the speed. You can just uh, control the uh, tick rate. Uh, we have ours set to 100. That's what I was uh, using in the tutorial video, like a previous, um, what was it, uh, like a trailer for this project. So um, that's what I'm using here. Uh, we'll hop in game now and we'll take a look at how everything works. Okay, so we're in game now and I'm just going to go find a suitable place to test this. Uh, right there looks like a good place. So I'm just going to clear this just a little bit. And host some land. Uh, first thing we need to do is test our seeds, make sure that they can't be placed anywhere other than where we want it. it looks like our seeds can drop too, so that's good. And go and get ourselves a hoe. And as you can see, our seeds are being planted. So that's good. And now we want to test our bone mealing. So it does grow uh, random stages, as you can see here. So that's good. Uh, next, what we want to do is go into survival. And just test the seed randomization. So that gave us two, it gave us two, it gave us two, two, two. I think that one was one. That one was two. Well, that one was one. Okay, so average is about two, but that's the uh, percentage that I have it set at. So other than that, it's um, also consuming the seeds, as you can see here. Uh, the number went down. And bone meal is consumed as well. So if you need any help with it, um, just make sure to let me know. Uh, you can post it on your my forms under the help section. 
and uh, I'll be able to help you with setting up your crops and stuff like that if you need to. Um, it might take a while for me to be able to get to it though because I do have a lot of recording during the week and stuff and um, I am doing it on my spare time. So other than that, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week with uh, some regular content. So if you have any more suggestions for videos um, after this, uh, definitely post them on my suggestion form and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.